Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, well, this little Healy here has stirred up a lot of trouble. <laughs> Gotten a lot of questions, a lot of bad press with this thing. Uh, and what we're going to talk about today is, is a question that I get asked a lot on YouTube. And that is uh, primarily, Ray, are we being upgraded to death? And... Uh, I'm here to try to give you a little, put a little light on this subject. Uh, I think to a point we are, guys. Um, the upgrading has gotten out of control on this RC hobby. I think it's a, just a money-making game. It's a way to get more money out of us. You know, put a good product out to begin with, and you won't have to upgrade everything. Okay, we're going to use this as an example. Already, by a line. Tons of upgrades for this. Upgraded aluminum metal tail casing. Upgraded aluminum swash plate. Upgraded skids. Up, upgraded frame. Uh, and the list goes on. Okay, they had defective skids on this. You're breaking very easy. The tail casings were breaking very easy. The frame breaking very easy. The swash plate pulling apart. Tons of defective stuff on this. You pay top dollar, two hundred and forty or whatever, two sixty for this thing, and nothing but problems. Uh, I think that we are being upgraded to death by these companies. I think that they're ripping us off. I think there's many companies out there ripping people off, uh, putting out defective products. I mean, I watched the blade company fly this 130x around and do all these stunts and blah 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 I got it and I tried doing those things with it and the tail was going crazy because of the uh, A3x A -A whatever the heck system it had on there and the tail would start wagging crazy and it wasn't a gyro gain issue uh, and then you'd get aggressive with it and the tail gears would strip out <laughs> you know? so I had uh, an MCPX2, the original one, and, you know, you go to do a flip with that, and the tail blows out, and it had issues and everything. Uh, but this, this helicopter here was an endless supply of issues and headaches, and I, I'm ashamed of the line. I'm a big fan of the line helicopters, and I think they made a fool out of themselves with this. But who, who is the real fool? People like us that keep upgrading and fixing these problems instead of throwing these things in the garbage and just cutting your losses and saying, forget it. Uh, but I mean, to put out these things, I, I think personally, and I've discussed this with people in the business, these helicopters, these cars, these parts, these, these things are being designed, tested, and they know before this thing is in your hands, they know everything that's going to break on it because these have been extensively tested. And what they do is they have a plan. They have all these aluminum parts, all these reinforced, strengthened parts, and uh, they're ready. So when these things start breaking, here we go. Start, release this, release that. Why didn't they put an aluminum swash plate on this thing to begin with? Ask yourself that. And why didn't they put an aluminum tail uh, casing? Why didn't they put a better set of skids and a better frame? To begin with, when they knew these things, because you're going back and you're replacing these things and they're making double and triple the money on these products. This is just one example. I mean, all the, all the companies out there are, are pulling this crap, uh, you know, putting out products that are either not perfected, not ready to be put on a, out onto the market, or they're being put out and they're taking the original engineered helicopter, car, buggy, whatever they had, and they're scaling it back so they can sell you these products and make a lot of money. And that's it. I mean, Micro Healy uh, is probably in cahoots with, with these companies to some degree. Uh, they knew immediately that this thing had a bad swash plate. Boom, here they come with a metal swash plate. And then two weeks later, a line releases one because they get... Uh, pissed off now that Mike Reilly's taking business from them. Well, a line, if you put out an, a metal swash plate to begin with and you didn't do this, play this game, it wouldn't have happened. You know, it wouldn't have happened. 
these companies are ruining their reputations, guys. You know, they're making fools of themselves by putting these products out that are uh, not up to spec. There's a difference between taking a little helicopter like this and flying it into a tree or uh, onto a concrete floor and then complaining that the company sucks or the company's putting bad products out. There's, you know, you can't expect miracles from anything. You smash your, your car into a pole and you're going to wreck it. You're not going to go back to Ford screaming that it wasn't durable enough. So we're not really talking about durability issues. We're talking about putting products out uh, that are defective. There was good companies. I mean, I built a Kyosho MP9 from Kyosho. Never had an issue. Never had anything break on it. Made in Japan, perfect product. You know, I bought an HPI Baja, uh, and the only thing that was bad on that was it, they forgot to put an a exhaust gasket on it when they built it. Other than that, trouble free, never had no trouble with it. You know, I had a low C buggy, uh, low C8 2.0. That was a pretty good buggy, you know, but it was built from the factory and they put too much Loctite on some of the different parts of it, and uh, that was bad, but they weren't defective parts on it. Uh, a team Associated a Monster GT that I have, never had an issue with it, nothing ever broke, tough, durable, good company, you know, Team Associated, Team uh, Losi, uh, Kyosho, uh, when I used to go to one of the fields I used to fly, guys would come and I'd have $70 Thunder Power batteries, 2250s, and they'd laugh at me, oh, I went to Hobby King and I bought this generic for 20 bucks, you got ripped off, they go flying and 10 minutes later their helicopter's on fire. You know, and mine isn't. I never lost the Thunder Power battery. I never had a Thunder Power battery ever go bad on me. Uh, so you get what you pay for, or pay for it to some degree. But my advice to the guys that have been complaining to me and, and uh, making a lot of complaints and asking me a lot of questions is if you find that a company is, is duping you or screwing you over, if you're getting bad products from them, stop buying from them. Uh, I've got other aligned helicopters and I've never had any issues with the T-Rex 500 for the most part. It had some bearings pull apart and basic thing, you know, some different things. But Align's always been a pretty decent company. Uh, but I think they're having either they're having a bad time breaking into the small market Healy or they're, I mean, doing this is not improving your reputation by putting a defective helicopter out. It's not helping your reputation. If you want to break into the small market, you should be putting out a tough, durable uh, little machine that doesn't have defective skids and defective tail casings and defective swash plates. Not a good way to go. But, you know, for every guy that says, screw you, I ain't buying from you anymore, there's five more down the line buying from them. So they continue to win. They continue to, uh, to beat the consumer. Uh, but this isn't a bashing session about the Align Company because I, I like their products. So people always ask me, and you know, they say, Ray, you give honest reviews. And that's why we like you. You know, when companies do something bad, you say it. When they do something good, you say it. Uh, and that's the bottom line. But the, the advice that most people want me to give is, is basically what I'm saying is that if you find you're, you're having bad luck with a certain company, uh, get rid of them. You know, I had a car years ago, a Red Cat Racing uh, car, and uh, it was cheap and affordable and everything, but it broke easily, you know, you couldn't race it, and it, would have, it was just cheap, you know. I don't, I don't know, I don't want to really say it was defective, but the components were cheap on it, so you got what you paid for in that case, but, uh, you know, and you can't expect miracles from these, these things either, guys. Like I said, you know, you start smashing them into trees and concrete walls and everything else. And don't complain about the durability at that point. I'm, I'm more or less complaining about products that are being put out defective. And when they're reissuing parts, that's telling you they're defective. And when a car company reissue, you know, has a recall, they're, pay, they're paying and doing it for free. These companies are not saying, geez, Ray, we're going to give you a, a free swash plate, aluminum, and free skids, and a free metal tail because we put out a bunch of defective stuff. These companies don't do it. They're just reeling in the money and getting richer and richer, and uh, China's laughing at us, you know. Uh, 
but you know if you're if I have a Saab Goblin that came, that had a the main gear on that was uh, melting when you were flying it so we had to upgrade to the heavy duty main gear and the steel pinion opposed to the aluminum one that was getting sticky and melt so I mean we gave Saab a little bit of leeway because they were a new company but come on they didn't know that either all the testing they did Bert Camomere <laughs> I mean, you know, these companies are just abusing us guys to, to every which way. I mean, upgrades, upgrades, upgrade, upgrade, you know. Mm -hmm. the line, uh, Saab's got the, for the Saab Goblin 5 and upgraded thicker frames and, uh, you know, the upgraded main gear and uh, the steel pinion and, you know, upgraded motor mount. The motor wasn't cooling enough, so we didn't know that when we tested it for 10 years, you know. It's just ridiculous, guys. You know, I'm not here to bash any of these companies because they, they put they all put out decent products and everything, too. But the upgrading crap in this hobby is, is out of control. It's ridiculous. And it's costing people a lot of money. And, and it's abusing the consumer. And I think it, it needs to be stopped. I think these companies out there need to know it and to know we're not stupid and uh, to stop putting out defective products uh, and I mean you're ultimately ruining your your reputation you know I don't think they care because they're so rich and so big and and everything but uh, I deal with good companies I try to deal with good companies I love Thunder Power I love Kyosho I love Team Associated Losi's good products and everything uh, but uh, you know, you also don't see a Kyosho MP9 or an associate come out and then say, well, we're going to, you know, everything's breaking on it. you got to upgrade. They do offer upgrades for those, those cars and those vehicles, but they're not required upgrades. You don't need to upgrade them because the parts on a Kyosho MP9 or associated or whatever, they're not defective. You know, I don't have to buy a battery from Thunder Power and it's defective and i got to upgrade to a better battery, you know. The battery I get is good and it lasts for five, six years, you know, and it charges and cycles and everything. So, uh, basically the advice I can give guys is, is if you're getting duped by, by companies, get away from them, stay away from them, stop buying from them. And uh, sad to say, but we are being upgraded to death. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon. If you want to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho.